first quarter and then extending that to a 62 point record net? I mean, losing <clears throat> in the fashion that we were uh, in the first three games was, was never a good feeling, but uh, you got to take those lumps and learn from them. And I think we, uh, we sh I think I said on Friday, we got to test our resiliency. And we, we obviously proved that tonight. We got a lot more work to do. It's more so just trying to get to that level that we expect um, and to be able to get a chemistry and a kind of expectation of what it's going to take for us to win this year. And, you know, we showed a lot of bright spots, obviously, tonight. Offensively, I saw the pictures and, you know, the way that they were defending me a lot better. I was able to pick and choose my spots, obviously be aggressive from the start. And, you know, shots fall. It was, it was a pretty crazy night. The, the the Jordan meme, right? I take all that personally. It's just a uh, you know an opportunity to kind of assert my will on the game early and try to create some energy and uh, you know get off to the right foot. I think we as crazy as it sounds after the game, all we really wanted to do was win the first quarter and take it from there. And uh, obviously that's what we did and continued momentum and. Uh, yeah, got, we got a winning spirit. We just got to figure out how to do it consistently. And uh, against the good teams in the league, it's going to test us. It was different. Uh, I heard coach talk about all 42 people in the stands gave me a round of applause from leaving the last uh, 30 seconds of the game. But more so, we just had uh, a better energy to start the game where you can feed off of that. And in this league, that's that's all you really need. And, you know, we, we have some talented guys that I think that we care and we're trying to, to get to the level again that we want to be at. So when you have something to, to be excited about, you kind of feed off your own energy. Um, and, you know, things start to go your way. So there is no, I was around when, when obviously when Clay scored 60 and there's a different environment, a different experience. And, and you understand what that's like. This was totally different, but uh, I'll take it. Hey, why not? If you do, you do. But um, do you feel like you need to hunt shots more like you did tonight than maybe you did the first two games? Mm, I mean, it's more so just seeing how the defense is playing me and just trying to make the right decisions. Obviously, I think I, I got to shoot and I got to score, but, um, you know, how it could look different from night to night. So that's what I got to continue to understand. And, um, you know, being aggressive might not mean getting – you know, double-digit shots every every quarter. It's kind of just, again, especially as we start to implement our offense um, and, and see those patterns, um, you know, we can start to open up more space and I can, uh, you know, affect the game that way. But um, I definitely have to be aggressive. I got to be decisive. And, you know, tonight to start the game like that, I think it gave us all a, a, a big boost. That was my favorite tweet I saw before. So he uh, he knows how to keep it real for me. But uh, there's nothing really needed needed to be said before tonight, and there's nothing I need to say afterward. It's just uh, like I said, I gotta know I got a lot left in the tank, and um, just thankful to God that I'm healthy and able to be back out there playing and, and enjoying the game that I love, and um, you know surprising myself from time to time. So it's pretty pretty awesome to kind of have a night like this, obviously get the win and see where it goes from here. Steph, you've had crazy highs, but it's been a rough year and change. What is it about your personality that lets you come out and be resilient and have nights like tonight after all that? I don't get frazzled too easily and uh, very confident in who I am and um, 
you know, as a person, as a basketball player, and, you know, there's not going to be anything you can say about me or to me that's going to affect that. Um, at the end of the day, that's how I got here, and I got a lot of people in my circle that understand what makes me tick and how much I enjoy this game and, you know, all the different challenges that you get to experience having been around, you know, 12 years plus. So it's going to be, uh, uh, you know, that kind of narrative from here on out. And I love it. I love everything about, you know, what this game offers and, and the, the competitiveness and the fire. And I never run from it. So um just excited to, you know, just be in that atmosphere where I get to play at the highest level and enjoy what I do. Steph, you, if, if, if ordinarily, if we saw you score 62 points, we would think you hit a gazillion threes. Uh, but tonight it was like a lot of downhill, a lot of attacking the rim. Was that something you saw in the matchups? Uh, like, what, what motivated this approach to 62? Just being decisive, I saw, you know, um, whether it was pick and roll or getting off the ball, kind of slowed down a little bit and knew that, uh, you know, if we got to the right, our spacing on Friday was not was not great. And we looked at some film and understood how to get to the right positions on the floor for everybody to have room to work. Um, and I got to those spots in the first quarter and, you know, it was just, I was feeling good. I was had good energy and was able to get downhill and get to the, to the, to the bucket. And that, that softens the defense up a little bit. And then you can start to get some transition threes or uh, obviously got to hit some tough ones from time to time. But it's just a matter of taking what the defense gave me in the first quarter and, and getting a good flow from there. So um, definitely helped, honestly, to play the same team twice and make the adjustments. It was really like a playoff type vibe where you can watch the film, know that they probably weren't going to make too many adjustments because it worked um, on Friday and, and we had to answer. Hey, Seth, Kylan with Cron4. Um, have you talked to Clay Thompson at all tonight? I saw he tweeted at you about joining the Elite 60 Point Club. No, I haven't talked to him yet. I'll call him on the way home, but uh, I appreciate the tweet. I've been chasing to get in that club, you know, since uh, since he did it. So, um, yeah, it takes one to know one, so I appreciate it. Uh, just one more follow-up about him, but what I, what has your communication been like with him over the last couple games? Obviously, some ups and downs. I know that he wishes he could be there. Have you talked to him at all just in the last week? Has, has he had any advice or input for the team at all? We all exchanged texts, and he sent us a, all a, a, a dope message before uh, our first uh, game on the on the East Coast uh, last week. And yeah, obviously, you know, want him to be around. I think he he hopefully be here soon and um, be a part of the fold and, and start his rehab process. But he brings such a great energy to the room, and we miss it. So uh, looking forward to having him around. know what's said and and all the people that are talking so as you go through uh, a game like this have you figured out over time why so many people are so critical of your game seemingly constantly no matter what you do I mean you have guys and, and fans and teams and all across the board you know um you know, whoever you root for, whatever player, whatever team, it's kind of where the league is right now. It's it's you got to take the good with the with the bad in terms of when you're on, when you, you have a five year stretch like we had, and um, obviously I don't have the the track record before 2014-15. Uh, that's kind of the normal, you know, uh, top of the league kind of status or whatnot, and and kind of taking the league by storm. All that stuff is just a part of the 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 fold and and the great ones always again are confident who they are no matter what's said no matter what it's that what what have you done for me lately type of type of vibe it doesn't it doesn't affect us or you know me in, in that respect so um when you win and when you kind of sustain that you're always going to have a target on your back and you're going to try to poke holes and that's uh it's part of the business um I can't answer any better than that it's just 
you know, I like being talked about because there's expectations. Steph, what was the scene in the locker room post game? Draymond said it was pretty fun with Steve and James and <laughs> Yeah, uh, I I took I took the rook shine tonight. He had his first double double, and coach gave him a pump fake. Uh, thought he was getting the game ball. I think he showed his hands, and then he's like, "No, nah, I'm just playing. We got to give it to the, the guy that scored 60." So, um, yeah, a good a good fun moment. It actually, yeah, I was I was over there cheering. I thought he was really going to give it to him, and I was going to try to get a a replacement or something. But uh, I got to take that one home. Take Draymond's defensive highlight reel tonight, and that's a clinic on how you affect a game um, on that end of the floor. It's, it's a master class on just being in the right place at the right time, seeing things two, step, two steps ahead, being vocal, helping you know everybody be attached and on a string. And you know we don't just say what we say about him defensively. He actually proves it and shows it time and time again. Um, it was it was it was you know flawless in terms of how he can impact the game without scoring you know a bunch of points. I want to take advantage of your hoodie, and after a game like tonight, uh, how do you celebrate? And does it include since you do have a hoop of fiasco daydreaming hoodie? Does it include special food and liquor? <laughs> <laughs> that was a really that was really good really good. Nah. Um, Time with my wife tonight. We got a game tomorrow, so um, you know that's why it's kind of late getting here. Got recovery. Got to you know turn around uh, and play the Kings tomorrow. But I'll definitely listen to his album on the way home in the car for sure. Let's do one more. I gotta get some last one. Um, it's no different than how I approach every game. It's just kind of an extra little fire, but. Uh, it's a long season, and you know a lot of things can happen, and uh, we have a lot to focus on as a team to, you know, get to where we want to be as as a unit and competing, in, you know, 